The next show is planned for April 9th, 2022. It's about 29 weeks to bring something really special to the stage. I'm very confident that that's gonna happen. You ready for this? What's up, people? Today, I am accompanied by my client, Euro. First leg day together. <laughs> but he's lucky, because we are 13 days out. So today, I probably won't be doing anything super impressive today, but that doesn't mean he won't, because I can still push him. Because you are, how far removed from the show? When, when, when did you compete? November? November, November 26th. November, so December, January, February, going to March. So, so he's four months deep now, about 20 pounds up from stage weight, feeling like a straight savage, full on gorilla mode now. <laughs> so for Euro, um, you know, long term is obviously to continue competing, but we need to work on improvements, right? So right now we've done a lot of work on bringing up his back. Um, I'll actually put up a photo here because this is nutty his back relax comparison was pretty pretty crazy. So we're doing a lot of volume for his back, for his glutes, for his hamstrings. Um, and it's definitely paying off. And I think 2023 is, is when we intend to hit the stage again. Yes, sir. Yeah, so, and probably try out some different federations, try out some other shows, oh, yeah. and uh, you know, make an impact. So I really think that uh, your future is bright in this. So we're going to get warmed up because we got legs. On tap, we got Adam behind the camera. I appreciate you helping me out again, man. Uh, today will be mostly quad focused, uh, so it'll be a lot of pain, which will be good. Um, I normally would squat today, um, but you know, you guys have been following. Uh, last week, I, I kind of noted that it was probably my last big squat session before the show, um, so we'll probably do some little variances today to. You know, target the quads a bit more, still do some kind of squat movement, um, probably like a Smith heel elevation and stuff. And, and you know, with, with Adam behind the camera, I think I'll be able to walk you guys through things a little bit more, give you some cues, um, you know, with setup and stuff for when Euro is doing the movements and, and give you guys some insight as to, you know, why I do things the way I do, how I structure things. And if you guys like these kind of videos, maybe uh, Adam's got a part time job waiting for him after this. So <laughs> we'll see. But, Anyways, uh, let's get warmed up. We'll do some uh, mobility stuff, get things moving, um, and then we'll dive in. Gonna start with calves. This is something I have done this entire off season because I was that guy that a bitched about my calves being small, and b didn't put a lot of effort into my calf training. So what I've done this entire off season is done calves first, and I've done them multiple times a week. Uh, I've done standing variations, seated variations, single leg, double leg, high rep, low rep. I've done it all and they're not impressive yet, but they're definitely better. So uh, today we're gonna do a standing variation. We're gonna do um, two lighter sets, which I found effective just in getting that mind muscle connection with your calves. Uh, I find going too heavy, especially at the start, uh, you do more of like a bounce, you know, using your Achilles tendon over the calf muscle. So we'll start with two high rep sets and then we'll do probably a heavy third set with a drop set um, just to make it really hurt. So let's get at it. Do you normally do calves at the start? Yeah, like, I, f I find, because calf training for probably most people is not the most enjoyable stuff. Um, starting with it, at least I like get it done. And when you're fresh, you're gonna put more effort into it too. 
So, you know, you figure a, a leg workout like today, for example, if we did calves at the end after doing squats, lunges, leg press, like you're so exhausted, this is the last thing I want to do, right? So at least now I check it off, I get it done, I put effort into it, and hopefully my calves will grow. Set for the dude. Your own needs calves too. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's the type of butt guy calves. <laughs> uh, hard squeeze at the top. All right, last set. So what I'm gonna get you to do is we'll go here and then strip off, I'll strip off one side, you strip off the other, we'll go down to two. So this will be our heavy set, this will be our burnout, our burnout set, whatever you wanna call it. So we got three plates on, take this set probably to failure, then we'll drop down to two again to failure, and just make them scream. I've been a fan of starting with a isolation before compounds. It just, it seems to feel better for me anyways, especially with my knees, uh, which historically have caused me problems, just discomfort, pain, all that crap. So isolations first, and then uh, we'll get into the compound stuff. So we'll do a couple warm up sets and then we'll get into the fun stuff. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to band this leg extension. So what that's going to do is, it's going to create tension at the top. Um, so when we're really trying to get that quad in that hard contracted position, um, you've got that added resistance of the band at the top. So all I'm going to do is loop it around, like so. So with leg extensions, I'm also a fan of doing higher reps at the start, same with calves. Leg extensions is a movement that a lot of people butcher because they just kick, they just kick. Which is not what you want, right? You want to actively contract your quads at the top, which the band is going to help with that connection with, along with a bit higher rep, I find anyways. Everything I'm saying, guys, is not written in stone, it's just simply methods that I've found work for me and that I enjoy doing. If you don't want to do this, then don't do it. If you don't like doing it, don't do it. I'm just telling you guys what I've done and the experiences I've had with my training. So we're gonna start with probably somewhere around 15 to 20 reps. Get after it. <coughs> 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 Ah, appreciate it. Don't be afraid to do that for me. I usually train on my own, so. You got it. Let's go. Good job. Good job. Oh, shit. Oh, man, down. <laughs> Spot my heels. You spot someone on a leg extension, most machines 
you don't want to pull the machine off them. So you want to put pressure on my heels. Okay. You're up. Okay. No break at the bottom. 13. Come on. 14. Come on. Control down. Two. Two like that. Two like that. Come on, y'all. Come on. You want it. One more. One more. One more. One more. Right to my hands. Ah, good. Heavy 10. And drop set. I feel good. Normally this uh, session is nasty by myself, but I got energy right now from you, so <laughs> that means you gotta suffer a little bit. Uh, bring it. He says. It don't kill you, make you stronger. Right? Bring it. He says. So that actually is a pretty smart way of doing things because as you stand, you get stronger. The bottom of the squat, that's where you're gonna get buried. That's where you're weakest. So we're gonna band it as you stand up. We need that tension. Then the second set, we're gonna do continuous reps just to really try to burn them out. So the first set we'll go a little heavier on. The second set we'll go a little lighter on. Tall chest, head up, look up. Good 
Wow. We're gonna go down to two plates. It's obviously a lighter load. But this time we're gonna keep it continuous. So we're gonna just try to focus on tension on the quads. Tension on the quads. Make it hurt. Again, so you notice lower volume overall when compared to like what seems like a lot of people are doing these days. But anyways, first set we're gonna do high rep, like 20 to 30 probably, and continuous keeping tension on the legs. You'll see foot placement since we are trying to hit quads. Foot foot placement is gonna be a little bit closer together um, and lower on the plate again to really emphasize that that bend at the knee. So we'll do the high rep, and then we'll probably do um, a second set with, with a, another plate on there or something. So we'll see how this one goes. First set right there, high rep, 20 to 30. And then the second set will go heavier for a little rep. Where are we at? Seven. Come on! Ah. How many? 29. Oh, one more. Fuck, get in there. Good job. Another 30. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Let's go! <sighs> Four. Five. Come on. Six. I got ten. Oh, let's man. fucking go. <sighs> Tension headache. Quad pain. It's a totally different like animal when you train like like when you train train right like people exercise they work out but like when you train you know you get in that position right there where you're clocked but when you look at the guys that man that are impressive whether they're natural or enhanced this is this is how they do it. 
right? Like it's just, it's a totally different animal. But anyways, we got one just to do. You good? Oh yeah. Now you guys know I always train alone. <laughs> Especially on my like day. Pull it on the fucking level. <laughs> I feel like you probably adapt to it, right? Like, I didn't train like this at the start. But you just kind of go somewhere, kind of unlock it a little bit. I think my big problem is the breathing. Yeah, I would agree. Learn how to breathe and brace, especially on the big stuff, right? Like your squat, your leg press. You know, it's one thing for leg extensions or isolation to kind of get carried away, but the big stuff. Yeah. Three. God damn. Three back. Come on. One set. Six steps. Six steps, girl. Come on. One, two, yes, yes, three, four, five, and six. One more. Yeah, don't stop in the rope. Let's go. Get nasty with it. Come on, girl. You want big legs? I know you do. We gotta do the shit that gets big legs. Two. One lap. Take them slow. Take them control. Conscious steps. Three, two, one. Step. Don't think about it. Just go. Good. 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 Come on! Six steps. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Good. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Oh. talk yourself out of doing something. There's this rule. I can't remember what her name was, but she she had like major depression and anxiety. She couldn't get out of bed. One day, she counted down like a space shuttle launch. That's what she compared it to. Five, four, three, two, one. She couldn't get out of bed. One day she was like, I'm tired of this, can't do it anymore. Five, four, three, two, one, ripped the sheets off, got out of bed. That was step one. That's what we just did there with your lunges. You stand in there, you're shaking. My legs hurt. Oh, well, I can't do this, I can't do this. No, get the fuck out of your head, just step. That's with everything, whether it's in the gym, life, whatever. We'll get this, and then we, we come up with the reasons why we can't, or we, we talk ourselves out of it. I'm too tired, I can't do this, it hurts. No, you, you did it. You proved that, right? You did that last set of lunges. You just, if this gets in the way, and it's, it cripples people. Uh, more control, you don't need to whip it.
can see the difference from, from today, from our regular leg days. I try to cut the rest time down, but. So my two focus on getting out every single fucking rep as possible. Time and place, right? Yeah. All right, that wraps it up. Euro's first leg day with, with the <laughs> boss man. Shit. How you feeling? A little you know eye-opening, a little learning yeah. experience? Oh yeah. Good, Big good. Time. It's exactly what we want. So, you know, I think for, for Ural, one of the things we identified for him is breathing and bracing, especially on those bigger movements. Um, you know, just learning how to properly, you know, lock things in when you need to and engage things. Um, especially on those big movements, you know, squats, deadlifts, you know, even lunges to an extent. They're very uh, cardiovascularly demanding too, not just muscularly. So like you'll get huffing and puffing, you get breathing, and that's when you know when that stuff starts to get carried away from you. That's when you can start to get those exertion headaches and you know those feelings of nauseousness and stuff. And you know th these are all acquired skills, right? You learn them as you go, and you know for a long time you've been a, an avid gym goer, but as far as when it comes structured like this. You know, specifically with bodybuilding in mind and stuff, you know, there's things you have to learn and, and you know, start to implement with your training to, to be successful long term. But, you know, you're barely scratching the surface, right? Like you've been doing this a year, you know what I mean? So to, to feel upset or disheartened about this kind of stuff is pointless because you're barely scratching the surface, right? You're only going to get better. You're only going to learn. So, uh, yeah, close out, guys. We are now 13 days out for me from the first one. Um, so really I have, I don't know what exactly peak week will look like, but I've got legs on Wednesday and then probably one more leg session next Sunday. So we got like two more leg sessions left before the first show. So every single one counts and uh, that's what we did today. Um, so the rest of the day for me is not a whole lot. Food, chill, relax, recover. Um, and then next week kicks off a new week. Tomorrow's a rest day, always rest after legs. So. Um, the next kind of 48 hours will be designated to recovery. But uh, if you guys like this uh, video, obviously this was a lot different than what I've normally done, been able to, just because you know a lot of my filming's been you know myself, you know vlog style or like just kind of a stationary camera setup. But if you like you know this kind of style of video, you know whether it's by myself or with clients like Girl, you know Adam behind the camera you know, documenting things a little bit more extensively, then let me know because uh, if this is what you guys want to see more of, then that's what we'll do. And, uh, you know, not only share my journey, but with clients like yours and, uh, you know, really just document this whole process and make it count. So thanks for watching guys. Appreciate it. Um, obviously, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and uh, don't forget to follow Ural. Show him some love on Instagram. Obviously, you guys know where to find me and don't forget to support Natty News Daily as always. Uh, the membership site is live. You can get clothes, you can subscribe, and uh, stay up to date with all things natural bodybuilding. So thanks again, guys. And we'll see you guys in the next one.